Um, I'm going to attempt to do a Wellness Wednesday update. Um, let's see how much of this I can get through before I have kids come in and knocking down my door. So, it has been almost a month um, since I started um, this goal that I gave myself or this 90 day fix challenge that I gave myself. And, um, you know, I've had a lot of struggles. It has been really, really hard. Um, I actually took about four days off. Um, so all in all in the past month, um, I've probably only have been, you know, giving a hundred percent, maybe half the time. So maybe two weeks out of this month, I've actually really given this, um, health and wellness kick and weight loss challenge, um, you know, a hundred percent. And, um, so I learned a lot this past month, um, especially about, uh, my stress level when I'm trying to commit to something. And I've also learned that we do not live in a perfect world where, you know, ideally you can have, you know, six to eight hours to just focus on your health and wellness. And, um, you know, I forgot about that. When you make a goal, um, especially like with weight loss and, and trying to be healthy, you know, you have all of the best intentions. You, um, you know that you can do it. You have all of this, um, confidence in yourself that you can do it. But when you're actually like in it and you are, um, you know, living those days, um, and life throws you curveballs and, um, you know, things happen, it, it becomes a challenge. And, um, I really have seen that this past month. Um, now after saying that, um, I'm pretty proud of myself. I actually, um, even though I've only worked 100% half the time, I actually have seen an improvement um, in my body. I've seen an improvement on the scale, which I hate the friggin' scale. But um, I did actually have um, a little bit of a setback. Um, I did gain a little bit more weight, but then I've since lost it. So I'm going to try to finish this video. I've been interrupted now twice. Um, I thought that I can give the kids lunch and get them all situated and then come up to my room, hide in the corner and do a quick little video, but that does not seem to be happening. So anyway, um, what I was saying was um, I actually had um, gained a little bit of weight back and um you know it became very discouraging but i knew too that um i had one bad weekend where i was just eating junk food and i was eating a lot of salty food so i knew that a lot of it was um a little bit of water retention i had just gotten off my period so um you know i knew that i can get it off and um since then um you know to date i've lost six pounds total which isn't bad so, um, you know, and in almost a month, I've lost six pounds. Ideally, I would have liked to, to have lost 10 um, because to meet my 30, 30 pound goal, I would need to do, um, you know, 10 pounds a month because I, like I said, I gave myself three months to do this goal. So, um, but all in all, I think I'm doing really well. I have a nice routine down now. Um, Robert's gonna be um, uh, scheduled here at home in our area um so he'll be coming home every evening um and uh you know that'll be a good help for me because i'll have time to like go out and actually do my runs again you know and um get back into the routine that i had uh, when we lived in california so um i'm also looking forward to the summer being over because once the summer is over and it starts to cool off i can do a lot more activities outside um, especially with the kids and that really keeps me active as well so I'm really looking forward to that as well um, but um, I, you know like I said I've seen an improvement in um, the way my body looks I've seen an improvement in my strength um, I've seen an improvement in my complexion in my 
um, digestive system. I've been drinking a lot of tea lately, um, like herbal teas. Um, so I've been doing some detoxing teas um, as well as um, some herbal teas to help with my liver and kidneys because in one of my other videos I'd mentioned like I you know my kidneys have been bothering me but um, in doing that um, I also noticed that um, there's more pains that I have and it's probably from working out um, I actually uh, my knees have been hurting me and my lower back has been hurting me um, so I've been trying to do a little bit more stretching but today I am sore um, walking down the stairs um, from my bedroom down to the, the main floor kills me um, and even squatting like to do anything even squatting to sit on the toilet my legs are killing me but you know with that pain it's like it's a happy pain and I know everybody who's worked out you know what I'm talking about it's like you know you did something you know you're doing something to improve your body so it's like a good pain it's a good hurt so um but let me see um, my new schedule that I've been doing um, I've actually stepped it up a little bit so I'm working out twice a day um, I do a morning and an evening session and um, they are 30 minutes or more so I try to do at least 45 minutes to an hour but no less than 30 minutes so I know for sure every day I'm getting one hour of um, exercise and um, I've been doing the elliptical I have been doing um, planks and a different variety of plank exercises We're really trying to work on my core um, I have been doing um, squats and a variety of squat exercises um, I've even gone back to um, my old uh, dance routine or warm-up routine that uh, I had in high school I still remember it so if anybody's watching this who used to have dance class with me mrs. Nelson's class like I'm back to the the warm-up routine um, so also I've been doing some of the um, the techniques and exercises that I used when I was cheer coach last year for um, uh, the town that I lived in for their um, their junior football uh, cheerleaders so I'm just kind of taking little bits and pieces of things that I've you know used in the past that I know worked for me and just trying to incorporate that into my uh, exercise routines now and like I said I've really seen an improvement and um, I've been sweating my tits off seriously like I posted pictures on social media like boob sweat is like crazy um, so uh, yeah so anyway um, let's see is there anything else that I want to mention in this update um, no I don't think so I think that's pretty much about it you know um, so just a quick recap um, I'm now let's see three days shy of one month so in three days it'll be one month that I've been doing this I am down six pounds from my original weight um, I feel better I have a routine down um, I have a better eating routine that's why I didn't mention too like I've been eating a lot of salads um, my protein sources are turkey and nuts um, some chicken and um, I'm not eating any more like beans for protein um, so yeah so I just you know little tweaks here and there seem to um, have been um, really making uh, a difference so anyway this is my video so if you guys have any questions or if you want to leave me a comment feel free to do so down below in the comment section um, but, alright, that's about it. Bye!